Helping people is an obligation for every person because everyone in this world must coexist with others and help them. Every person must realize that no matter how powerful they are, they will one day need help from others. Today, we will tell you an exciting story about a young girl who suddenly found herself in front of a crocodile basin, with dozens of crocodiles approaching her. It happened in the American city of New York in 1956 when a nine-year-old girl named Minzy found herself inside a small crocodile reserve. Surrounded by a fence, the reserve contained a large basin with dozens of crocodiles. The parents took pictures of their little daughter near the crocodile basin, and then they all looked at the photographs that were taken. While this was going on, the girl crept away from her parents to a small opening under the fence and entered the crocodile basin. The girl was not aware of the danger as she approached the basin, eager to touch those fierce crocodiles. Immediately, she noticed the crocodiles starting to approach her, thinking about having a nice heavy meal. The parents turned to look for the girl but couldn't find her. When they looked inside the cage, they noticed that she was inside, waving her hand to the crocodiles. At the same time, the crocodiles were quickly approaching her. The parents were shocked and began calling for help. A large crowd gathered around the cage, but none of them had the courage to enter the enclosure and save the little girl from those hungry crocodiles. Everyone watched the situation, and the father tried to climb the fence to reach his daughter, but he couldn't. He remained holding his hat, moaning, and watching what would happen to his daughter. The mother and the rest of the audience were in shock, witnessing the terrifying situation. Only a few meters separated the crocodiles and the girl. In those moments, a man came from afar, quickly climbed the fence, and jumped into the cage. He carried a long rope that had been recommended by another man who was with him, so that person outside the cage could grab onto it and pull him out when he tried to escape. The man went straight towards the girl, grabbed her, and then carried her back. Despite the chasing crocodiles, the man was very fast. He put the girl on his back and instructed her to hold on to his neck. He climbed the rope and jumped over the fence, exiting the cage. It had only been a few seconds that separated the little girl from the ferocious crocodiles, but this man intervened and saved her from certain death. Everyone applauded him for his courage, skill, and how he handled the situation. In the end, it turned out that the savior was the famous comedian and novelist George Carlin. The artist was on a business trip to one of the theaters located next to the zoo. When he noticed the girl inside the crocodile cage, he got out of his car with his friend and brought a rope to save her. As for the girl who was rescued, she turned out to be the future Hollywood star Nancy Allen. She has appeared in many films and has become popular with movie fans around the world. After many years passed since the incident, the artist George Carlin started suffering from alcohol and drug addiction in 2008. He stopped working entirely and entered the world of gambling. After losing many bets, he ultimately declared bankruptcy. When he told Nancy about it, he made sure to tell her that he was the one who saved her life. Nancy went to his house and offered to help him. She paid for all the expenses for George Carlin's addiction treatment, and he eventually managed to get through this difficult period of his life and recover. Although he announced his retirement from acting, George Carlin continued his creativity in the field of writing. His most recent book was, It's Stupid to Fear Crocodiles, From a Little Girl, a novel that achieved great success and high sales. This story highlights an American actor and writer who volunteered and saved the life of that girl. He did not know that the girl would one day return the favor and help him overcome the most challenging stage of his life, ultimately regaining his life. Hello everyone, humans are the most common cause of tragedy in the animal world. But when another person manages to correct the mistakes made by their predecessors, others praise him. That's what happened to the man in our story today, near a fast-moving river in eastern Siberia, and let me introduce you to the story. It was a spring morning, and a villager went fishing. He brought a tackle without a float. The young man hoped to catch a trout or other small fish. He chose an open place with no trees on the bank. The spot is pre-baited and the man throws the bait into the water with a slam, grailing frolics in the fisherman's net. 
the excited fisherman catches fish after fish, rejoicing at his success. The man didn't notice a bear cub coming from behind him. Judging from the animal's appearance, it looked straight at the man's fish. It was obvious that it was hungry. Seeing that the man ignored him, the bear complained softly. The surprised man turned to see his guest approaching the fish, and the little bear picked up the slippery fish and began to feast on it happily. Having eaten half of the fish, the guest took the rest and walked towards the nearest forest bush. And the men continue to fish, and the fish are no longer hooked. Near the bank they must have moved towards the middle of the river. The men in waterproof pants and boots decided to get in the water, throwing their fishing gear farther into the river. It was the right decision and the fishermen caught three more fish in the river in half an hour, imagine this man's surprise when he saw a bear cub standing in the water next to him. It's the same bear he was treating a fish with recently, the bear turned his gaze to the fish in the net. The man reached the shore and gave his guest another fish. He took the grayling and went back to the forest. This behavior intrigued the man, so he decided to follow the bear at a safe distance. The bear cub walked down a forest path, carefully gripping the slippery prey with his teeth, and disappeared into the willows after walking about 50 meters. The curious fisherman slowly parted the branches and found a clearing in the dense undergrowth of the forest. The man saw a bear lying on its side. Apparently the mother bear was injured, unable to move and hunting alone. Now he knew exactly who the little bear had been taking the fish to, and after seeing the animals in the forest, the man decided to go back to fishing. Salmon are an important item for bears along the coast, as they can sit in the throats of streams and the salmon will come to them. Chasing humans provides very little nourishment, and bears will attack and kill humans, but only if threatened. Hunting humans is almost unheard of. If you put a bunch of food in your tent, the bear might take a bite, the same way you get candy at the cash register when you're already there after all. Put the same food in a bag and hang it on a tree so you are safe. A smart bear might still get food, but they almost never pass a sleeping human a few hundred feet away. It so happens that some people harm nature without thinking about the consequences, while others try to right wrongs to restore balance. It is the eternal interplay of good and evil. If one person gets the chance to help, the whole world really does get a little bit better. Set in a picturesque location in eastern Russia, near a very dense tall forest, this story tells of the collision of good and evil actions, and a miracle happens. I'll tell you everything from the beginning. This happened in early spring, when the forest was still growing relentlessly. Nearby villagers will go fishing. There are also a lot of mushrooms and fish by the river, and the locals often grab them and eat them. Bears may engage in aggressive behavior towards humans even when they are not hungry, usually to protect themselves or protect their cubs. Bears living in the depths of the wilderness don't know enough about humans and avoid them. However, this does not prevent them from coexisting, everything in this world is balanced and interconnected, until the invasion of humans. Bears are constantly working to replenish their fat reserves for the winter, and their food choices reflect this. Bears are omnivores, but live mainly on plants and insects. They also eat other people's food, poach prey from other predators and eat newborn herbivores. This is low effort, high reward food. He bagged the fish and took it to the injured bear cub, being careful not to get too close to the brown mother before packing everything up and heading home, the man decided to report the bear to the area game department, so rescue arrived in time. The bear was saved. It is likely that poachers have harmed the bears, unfortunately they often come here to hunt. The fisherman he saved two lives and showed the bear that not all men are cruel, careless killers. They don't know what compassion is. Friends, if you like this story, be sure to share the video with your friends, don't forget to like this video and subscribe our channel. In nature's plan, people often make fatal mistakes that lead to the tragic death of animals. Many people believe that it is better to do nothing and not interfere with the natural process of life, but sometimes it is also the case that in our stories, human beings must show their love and do their part to save the troubled animal. The protagonist encounters such a thing and helps the animals. 
It happened near a river in Siberia when everyone was enjoying the warm spring sun. Because the fisherman's wife didn't expect that he would catch a big fish. It all started when the man decided to fish from morning till night, but could hardly find a coast without plants grown by the fisherman. His first cast was surprising and the fish was very active which changed his mood immediately. He held his rod excitedly, thinking that in a few hours his bucket would be full of trout and other fish. Suddenly a strange noise in the bushes caught his attention. He turned to see three cubs coming out of the bushes, and although they weren't dangerous, he felt a strange chill run down his spine. He knew it was probably their mom walking somewhere nearby, and he tried not to make any big movements. He began to slowly gather his tools, and he kept his eyes on the cubs who looked thin and skinny. Taking a closer look, he pulls out several fish and places them in front of them. The little bear ate the food voraciously. The fisherman couldn't help but shed tears when he saw the little bear. Coming out of the forest, it was too late to run, he stood still, staring into the mother bear's eyes, but when he got a better look, he could hardly control his screaming, he was appalled that the bear was so old and frail. Did he know that there is usually only one cub among old bears? But there were exceptions, fatal was the birth of three cubs, it did not have enough milk to feed them, to make them stronger and healthier, the fisherman did not hesitate to pour them all his fish. He knew that without help, the bear would die because nature rarely forgives genetic errors such as those that have happened to these animals. The fisherman came home late that night and his wife scolded him for not catching any fish. The next day he went down to the river again and got some food for the bears from the house, and the locals didn't know where the fisherman was going or who he was feeding in the woods. Fortunately, thanks to the fisherman's food, the cubs recovered. The mother looked weak, but the fisherman believed her cubs would survive. Many people may blame the fisherman for helping the bear family, but they cannot understand his motives, because children are always children even if they are forest predators, and it is a human responsibility to help them.